1862 in Vancouver, um, a place that uh, a city that really informs his practice as a musician, as a as a curator, as a writer, um, and a critic. Uh, he is um, his first book was about uh, was called Company Town. It was about his experience uh, in a fish cannery in the Skeeter River, where he worked as a teenager. His second book was a book called Hardcore Logo which was also was his experience as a, as a musician in a folk punk band. Um, and it was made into a movie called... Um, Hardcore. 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 <laughs> <laughs> By Bruce uh, McDonald. And um, uh, he went to, his connections with uh, Victoria, he went to, uh, went to school at the University of Victoria, uh, his degree is in anthropology, and also studied history there. Uh, as I say, he lives and works in, in Vancouver right now, but does have a connection with Victoria. So he's just going to say a few words now about his, uh, the exhibition that he curated. So please welcome Mike Victoria. Would you like me up here? I would. This is where I have to come up here. Hi, everybody. What a great crowd. This is, uh, I didn't know what to expect. Uh, I never had a problem parking in Victoria until I came here for this uh, and, and, and to, to legally park. I'm so sick to see what happens. Um, I'd like to first of all um, thank John Tupper for uh, being open to my query when I came to him with an idea uh, for an exhibition, which is the exhibition <coughs> in the lab space. Um, so a, a big thank you to John uh, for hearing me out and hearing my proposition. Um, from the discussion with John, I uh, spoke with uh, next with Nicole and uh, <coughs> Mary Jo, who uh, was here at the time, uh, who's now at the Montwood. I think it's called the Legacy now. Legacy now. It's got a new name. Okay, the Legacy now. And um, through discussions with Nicole. Um, I came to meet uh, Corey the preparator, uh, who was excellent, most excellent. Um, often with exhibitions, uh, the art is made, the curator brings the work together, but it's really the preparator uh, who does uh, the heavy lifting and indeed knows the institution, uh, the buildings well enough to really know where things go. I often say that uh, a work of art should be judged in its terms, and sometimes a work of art um, within the institution, within the gallery space, there are terms by which it sits in that space. And Corey understands that <coughs> uh, uh, implicitly and uh, was very helpful to me in making decisions about where things go, specific decisions, and as well as preparing the space. I also, uh, through coming to know Nicole and Corey, through working with them, came to meet uh, Michelle James as well, who's the new senior career here. Uh, and, and, and Michelle's reputation, of course, precedes her. She was at the AGO and, and did terrific shows there. Um, in my time living in Victoria, which John mentioned, um, I, I don't ever recall anyone like Michelle Jakes and her skill set being here and her attention to uh, contemporary practices uh, in Canada and, and abroad. Um, and I think Victoria's very lucky to have someone like Michelle here. And uh, I think we're all excited to see what Michelle will do here with and, and through the institution. <laughs> <laughs> so the pressure's on. Um, so what happened, with, how the exhibition came about was um, I was doing research at the Western Front, which is an artist front center in Vancouver, um, established uh, about 40 years ago, I think this week, if I'm not mistaken. And um, I was doing a, a, a residency in the media archive. I was interested in um, literary. As a writer, I'm interested in all things writing, but how um, how writing, as it's read, is caught uh, through the camera. And, and and I found some you know different kinds of videos and, and put together a presentation. But what I found, and this is what we often find when we're doing research, we find something not germane to what we're looking for, but something that stays with us. And what I found in this instance was this video by uh, Robert Barin and read for a call a postcard from Victoria. And I was familiar with their work. Basically, uh, they came out of a cooperative situation in Montreal, Philip Co-op, in, in the 60s, very idealistic, people were working together, making things together collaboratively, 
Like uh, the genesis of the Western Front, much of which began in Victoria with people like Eric Metcalf and Michael Morris and uh, going over to, to Vancouver and making this place with others. So <coughs> Miranda Dufour were part of this co-op. They formed a relationship, a personal relationship, and through the 80s began to make work. He's primarily a director, writer, she's a writer-editor, and they made a series of very eccentric videos which blend facts, fact and fiction uh, quite effectively. And I'd seen a lot of the work, but I'd never seen this work. So I watched this work, and it stuck with me, and it stayed with me. And I thought, well, I wonder if Victoria has ever seen this work. I think it was shown a couple of times at the Western Front. I, as much as I could, I tracked where it went in the world, but it never came here. So I thought it was something that should come back here. And if it did come back here, to be seen here 30 years later, it perhaps should, um, come back with something around it, you know, apart from whatever I might have to say about it. So, as the basis for an exhibition, this video um, went in two directions. So one stream was to take something within it and, and sort of pull it out and install it and, and, and perhaps with something else. So that's, if you've seen the exhibition, you will see the place setting from the Empress Hotel tea room uh, with the um, the, the table, which is actually from the old floor, so an instance there of, of, of an institution taking from itself and maintaining itself and repurposing aspects of itself, much like artists do all the time. And uh, a place setting facing um, an array of postcards um, from a collection by Philip Francis, who has a huge postcard collection of BC transportation history, architecture history. Now, the postcard's important because the video is called a postcard from Victoria, and our subject, as she moves through this picaresque narrative video, um, she's always looking through these postcards, as if maybe to send home, to decide who you know, to send to what, if, if at all. So she's looking through postcards all the time, and the postcard becomes a kind of a, a frame or a snapshot or a collection of, of something, an idea about which to um, provide the carrier for another idea. So this array is of uh, 94 pictures of the Empress Hotel, and it's been arranged perspectively. So the central column is the is the uh, Empress Hotel, looking uh, at you as you're sitting, seating there, uh, perhaps looking at where you are being depicted if you were inside the building at the time. And then from there we spread out and we kind of create a kind of concave, concave. So the idea of looking at yourself as you're being rendered that you're hidden because you're inside something. So that kind of relationship, to me, spoke to what it is to live in a place such as Victoria, which, which is quite constructed, which has a, a, a presence, uh, and, 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 and that presence is put out into the world to its benefit, you know, as a, as a kind of cultural tourist enterprise. So the third element then became um, the postcards that you see on the carousel. Um, and what I did was I found postcards that were available from the time of um, Miranda before uh, their time in Victoria making the video. And, and amidst them then are uh, postcards by three artists, contemporary artists, uh, younger artists, Jeffrey Farmer, um, Raymond Beaujolais, and Julia Ferrer, who is a native daughter here, uh, and a very up and coming accomplished artist who's uh, very present in, throughout the world. And she has an exhibition at Banff right now with Tamara Henderson that she's done. And Julia's here in the room, and her family's here. So we're very happy to welcome back uh, Julia Ferrer uh, back to Victoria. Thank you. So I, asked, I asked these three artists to, to um, look at the video and respond to it pictorially. There's an interview within the video. So in effect, interview the video, the content of the video, and, um, and, and, and come back with something. And as you will see, and uh, you'll certainly see through difference, the uh, three postcards that were uh, made by the three artists in relation to postcards that were available at the time when Moran and before were making their video in Victoria. So those are the three elements of the show. The final thing is the color of the walls. <clears throat> Some have said it's very strange in there, but the colors, in fact, are taken from the tea room. So the molding uh, of, of, of the tea room is the, is the same molding color I used, the taupe molding, and the pink is the same wall color. If there were more architectural features in the, in the lab room, I would definitely bring the additional colors that are available as well uh, in, into, the, into the room to 
cover it, but there aren't any other architectural features in that room, so we just have the two elements. So that's really the show. I thank you all for coming. Um, it's great to see so many people out uh, to, uh, to an opening an exhibition. If you have any questions, if you want to <coughs> talk to me uh, privately, whatever, I'm going to be around. There's lots of booze here. I like to drink. <laughs> and, uh, so, you know. <laughs> Thank you everybody for coming out today. Thank you. 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 Thank you.